Good morning, happy Wednesday. All right, let's get started with this headline. U.S. home buyers are backing out of contracts at the highest rate since the start of the pandemic. Is that true? Well, yes, and we're seeing more inventory that's hitting the market that does need repairs, and a lot of sellers right now are hesitant to make repairs because they haven't embraced the market that we're in. So let's look at the trend line though and see what's really going on right now. August 1st, we did see a big spike up and we talked about this in back on the market, 248 homes came back on the market after being under contract. However, if you look at our seven day running average here in the Metro Atlanta market, we're looking at about 78 homes coming back on market each day. So that August 1st was definitely a spike up but is not in line with the trend we have been seeing over the last few weeks. Now, July averages were around about 130 per day, which was more in line with what we're used to seeing, like around that 100 mark. So again, don't try to put lipstick on a pig and pricing is imperative. Make it worth the buyer's while to stay in the deal as the market moderates and more supply of inventory goes up. All right, we are gonna jump into North Fulton this morning and we're gonna take a deep dive into those market because again, we know mar uh, real estate is hyper local. So we are going to look at North Fulton, which does still cover a pretty decent area. So I've broken it down by cities to give you a better idea of where we're at. So for Sandy Springs, I'm gonna give you the anomalies so the anomalies are outside one month supply of inventory and within 1% of sales price to original list price based on price points. And the first thing I wanna start with in Sandy Springs is the price point of 100,000 to 150,000. There's four months supply of inventory, which um, that's just not a thing typically. And what's crazy though, is that we're seeing those homes sell at 117% original list price to sales price, which makes sense in that price point. All right, now if you jump on up, again, one month supply over 100% list price to sale price, but when we get to the 100, um, 400 to 450 price point, we're up to 104%. Then where we get real wonky is 450 to 598% sales price to list price, even though there is still only a one month supply of inventory, and then 550 to 600 in Sandy Springs, we see the month supply of inventory jump up to two month supply and the list price to sales price goes down to 94%. Same thing with seven to 800,000, we see an uptick to two month supply of inventory. So definitely an increase on that price point, yet the um, sales price to list price, 94%, which is a big drop there. It was trending closer to 100. Um, the biggest shift we are seeing in Sandy Springs is the eight to 900,000 price point, 18 month supply of inventory. You heard that correctly, 18 months supply of inventory still trending at 101% sales price to list price, 900 to a million, one month supply of inventory, but 96% list price to sale price. And then one to 2 million, 96% um, sales price to list price, four months supply of inventory, and then two to 5 million price point, three months supply of inventory, 96% list price to sale price. So very interesting stats coming out of Sandy Springs, Milton, we see some outliers here, 350 to 400, which is typically a sweet spot in price points and those homes go very quickly. There is still only one month supply of inventory. However, the anomaly here is 93% sales price to list price here, where that had been trending over 100%. Now, when you jump up to 400 to 450, one month supply of inventory, okay? And look, get this, 152 percent sales price to list price. Again, that's in that 400 to 450 in Milton. Um, 450 to 550, zero supply of inventory. No homes on the market in that price point. Then we jump all the way up from 800 to 900 and you've got seven months supply of inventory in that price point at 100% sales price to list price. 
And then we go on from 900,000 to 5 million, and we range around seven to eight months supply of inventory, but 100% sales price to list price until you get to that two to five million range, and then we're looking closer to 92% sales price to list price. All right, let us jump over to Johns Creek right here in our backyard, 400 to 450, zero month supply. There is nothing in them on the market in that price point. And that is pretty common in that area. 450 to 500, one month supply of inventory, 112% average sales price to list price. And that is definitely showing up because in those lower price points below half a million, they're just as such limited supply. All right, 500, I'm sorry, 550 to 600, 104% sales price. Um, we were looking at 112, 107, 104, and then 800 to 900, 107% sales price to list price average, and three month supply of inventory. One to two million, 103% average sales price to list price, and yet there's six month supply of inventory. So what this tells us is the homes that need work, need updates, and all of that, they're not flying off the market. All right, Alpharetta, and we will wrap this up. We are seeing 106% sales price to list price, even though there's four months supply of inventory here from 250 to 300, and then from 350 to 400, 103% uh, sales price to list price. 400 to 450, this is an anomaly right here. One month supply of inventory, 98% sales price to list price. And then we're gonna jump up to 500 to 550, 105% sales price to list price. So you'd assume that the month supply of inventory was low. It's not, it's actually three months. So that's really an anomaly. And then if you go to six to 700, three month supply of inventory with 105% sales price to list price. And then the other increase in inventory we've seen in John's, I'm sorry, in Alpharetta, six to 700, we've seen an increase to three months supply, 900 to a million, six months supply, and two to five million, and eight months supply, even though all of those are still trending at 100% to 102% sales price to list price. All right, thanks for hanging with me, and I hope these numbers help you on your deep dive of the local market, and I will see you tomorrow.